Episode 2, Star for Help. Let's do this. Subtitles are on, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. I know who you are. Oh, I What's got another out? good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He tried to kill me one time. I remember in the last episode he tried to kill me. But rest in peace to Doug though. And uh Sean, I believe. Rest in peace to him too. Oh. <sighs> yep, Larry, he tried to kill me. It really feels like we're watching a movie though when you think about it. Oh. Wait, oh, oh, we're already interacting? Okay, 3 months later. Or I'm about to ask this dude. Ask him. Hold him. Ask him. Oh. We're already getting into the good stuff. Okay, we're already getting into the action. All right. Damn. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Oh, that was a uh, rabbit. Well, that's another meal lost. I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me. I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. So it seems like we're hunting for food right when now. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Um, we'll manage. I, we can do this. We'll manage. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Of course Larry would do something like that. Um, he's got a family to look out for. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He has a massive problem with me. Alright. He's just looking out for his daughter. Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Sucker punched me straight in the face. I didn't forget that. Oh, you're gonna shoot it? Alright. Don't risk. Oh no, the noise though. Noise. Th don't do it. Don't, don't. do it. Gunshot will bring walkers. The bird's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't yeah, do it. I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah, don't do that. Ah! Who was that? Shit. Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I hope not. That better not be Kenny. What's going on? Oh 
man, episode already started. And it's already getting it's already getting active. Who is that screaming? Oh no! Oh, I thought it was a walker. Oh, his ankle. Jesus Christ. He got caught in a oh, trap. Shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? We're what not going to hurt. Is there a bear trap out here? Wait, we're... Who raided your camp? I, I don't know. Guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help. Please. Man, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just yeah, see if you, can you get have him out. absolutely no After idea that, what you're you can doing. Leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay, we'll try. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Yeah, cause all that hurry, screaming please, and all that hurry. extra noise is gonna. Oh, yep, oh, it's already attracting walkers. Oh man. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Use the axe, like chop it, do something. Oh no. Oh jeez. Shit, walkers! It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. All right. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what can I do? Oh no, I'm not chopping his leg. No, no, no. Chop this. Chop this. Please, there's gotta be something, something we can do. No, no, no. Stop. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, the chain, the chain, the chain. Chop it, chop, chop it. I'm not chopping this leg off. Is he gonna make chop it. Come on, man. Come on, go, come on. Please, please, please. Come on. How strong is this chain? Oh. Please save him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. It has to be No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything. It's please. not gonna. I'm sorry. Oh! Just cut off his fucking leg. We don't have time for that. Oh! Sorry. I gotta keep we going. Have to go. Oh! I'm sorry. I am so sorry, brother. Oh! I can't keep him back forever. Ooh! Is he free? Fuck! I'm just wasting ammo now. We gotta go. Oh God, All right. So one more time. One more time. Ah! Ah, jeez. Ah. Is he? Oh, shit. Is he? He passed out. Well, he's free. He just passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. All right. Well, come on. I. We tried everything. That was the only option. I didn't do it because you said so. Okay. That was the only option. We had to do something. Oh no. Come on. Come on. We gotta move. Run, man! Are you serious? No! Oh my god, the episode just started and I already had to chop somebody's leg off. Oh my god. Sheesh, dude. Oh. Okay. So it seems like we're really desperate for food at this point. <sighs> Look at Clementine down there. I feel so bad cutting that dude's leg off. That, I just, it was the only option, man. Wait, do you hear something? Oh my gosh, that, that ball sound effect is getting too loud. I believe it's us. It's no walk. Get yep. the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, God. Hell, I'm going on. We have time to explain. Lee, 
Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. Exactly. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? <sighs> If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Well, no, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Okay. It's gonna be a... We only have four food items for ten hungry people. See, it's already starting off. Alright. It's it's already starting so crazy. Like, we, we already have to make this tough... We already have to make this tough decision. There's ten hungry people and we have, we have four pieces of food left. Who should we help here? I'm trying to figure this out right now. Kids or those? Now, obviously the kids, they need to eat. And some adults... Okay, I feel like some adults that okay some adults that struggle the most like you know what i mean like some of the adults that struggle the most those i believe des deserve the most treatment because like they're doing the most for the group that they could possibly could uh do not give it to catch uh to catch a, she will get mad if you don't give it to ben um okay well where exactly how you doing clementine okay where's your hat i don't know can you help me find it? Oh yeah, her hat's missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay, and you know what? While I, and while while I look for it, here, take this. I mean, hey, I gotta help Clementine. Need something to eat. Uh, oh, we can give her something. Give her half an apple. Give a piece of jerky. Give crackers and cheese. Um, dang, I didn't know we had to choose uh, like a specific food. I thought we could just give her anything. Um, let's give her half an apple. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. It's fine. 
Okay, so now, all right. Now I feel like her hat. Um, see, cause like I said, I played this so long ago. This is the only part I can kind of, I can kind of memorize. I think I, I don't know. Her hat, I think, is like I, I don't know where her hat is, but I, I'm, I'm sure eventually we'll find it. So, what we got? What we got? Yo, Kenne. Hold on, hold on. See, my mouse wheel. I gotta get a new mouse. My mouse wheel is kind of janky. HyperX mouse, it's not really the best. Um, so we're gonna give Kenny some jerky. Want something to eat? Some to eat, brother? I will give you a piece of jerky. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Okay, I got you. 100%. Alright. There are three pieces of food. I got you. 100%. I got ducks. See, we gotta take care of the kids first. Let the kids eat first. Hey, Doc, how about a little food? All right, I will give you some crackers and... Oh, snap. Yeah. I, I meant, oh, I, man, I'm so hungry. Uh, I gave him a piece of jerky. I meant to give him the crackers and cheese. That's fine. That's fine, though. Okay, so now we have two pieces of food left. So now I can finally give one... Okay, you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'm going to give one to... What's his name? Uh, Ben. And then I'm going to give one to Kenny. So here we go. Want something to eat? Crackers and cheese. Back in a bit. Wait, did I not? Oh, I oh I pressed the wrong Want thing. Something to eat? Oh, my bad, my bad. I pressed the wrong button. Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. See, Kenny, he's the homie. He deserves it. Okay. Keep the oh okay uh keep the last food for yourself or save the last piece of food for someone else. Um, jeez, I mean, when was the last time Lee in a? I don't even know. When was the last time? I was thinking we could give it to Ben though, but now that I think about it, I also have to, I have to be aware of myself as well because I don't even remember the last time Lee ate. Eat it? I mean, oh jeez. Oh excuse me. Jeez, I mean, I guess I don't know. Keep the last food. I'm gonna save it. I'll, I'll save the last piece. I need to keep my strength up too. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Cause like, when was the last time you ate, Lee? You gotta keep your strength up. Bro's the main character. We gotta help him. Not such an easy job, is it? It's, it's okay. Easy. I know you're still watching out for me. I was get, I was I planning on giving her something too. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, it's not selfish, really. I just me and my family. I didn't know what yeah, to do. It's confusing. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out. What happened to my food? Oh, There's Larry, don't now. start. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Larry, don't start with me, ma'am. Okay, all right, so. So now we got the food and everything. Well, actually, oh, I, I still got it. Um, I don't know where it is. So now we got that. So while I don't even know what's the main objective right now, well, I think the side objective right now at the moment is to find Clementine's hat. So actually, let's do that. Let's try to find it. So where exactly is her hat? Like, where does she even have it? Is it, uh, where's it at? I don't know where it is. Um, Lily, no, nah, I don't think, I don't even think Lily wants to talk right now at the moment. Um, I have no idea where at. Oh, is it around here? Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. True. Also, by the way, I even, I just noticed, uh, Lee's in a whole nother outfit. He's wearing a whole other jacket. It's kind of cool. Um, kids got food and what's really that that is true though. The kids we because they're way too young, we can't let them die of starvation. So gotta make sure the kids have nutrition first. Okay, so where what exactly is what are we doing right now at the moment? I mean I could talk to everybody, but what I mainly really want to do right now is look for Clementine's hat. But while we're doing that, I guess we could talk to some people. So let's talk to the homie Kenny first. Words getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those 
Monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Mmm. Now, um, keep in mind, I mean, for, because keep in mind, if it's just me, Larry, so if it's just me, Kenny, Duck, Katcha, I believe that's how you say her name, and Clementine, there's really only two, there's only two men, like, we're the only two that can protect, um, we're the only two that can protect those three, so, I mean, I don't know, like, if he were to leave, I don't even think that's a good idea. And on top of that, didn't uh, Glenn leave in the last episode? Because one of his friends or something was in trouble and he went to go help him out. So, he's gone. Hopefully, we don't know where he is. I have no idea. So, long awkward signs. I'm trying to figure this out right now. So, keep in mind. I'm not being... I'm not... <laughs> I'm being sex right now. What I'm saying... Look, all I'm saying is there's only two... Look, it's, it's really hard to explain. It's only two... Because it, there's only so much that me and Kenny could do. So it's like, I don't think it's going to be enough for me and him to be able to protect... To be only... Only to be able to protect his wife and two kids. I don't know if that's going to be enough. So it could be something. I don't know. I just... I'm, I'm so lost right now. So... I mean, if he wants... Look, all I'm saying is if he wants to leave, that's fine. But I'm just saying, be very careful. So... But I think for now, it's best if he stayed here. It's best. We need you here. We have a better chance of surviving as a group. Our best chance of surviving is to get away from the mainland. My mind is made up. Jeez. Well, I mean, I guess, I mean, because keep in mind, if, I mean, well, because we can't really sit in the same position forever. So eventually we're going to have to move out. So I, I see Kenny's point. Okay, Carly. Um... Sleeping any better? Sleeping any better? No. Ooh. You know, we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. That's Drug true. Drugstore? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What should we do about the kid? What should we do about the kid? If it were up to me, I'd let him stay for a while, see if he proves to be an asset. But that's up to Lily, and with her in charge of the food, I don't want to get on her bad side. Mm. Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. Hey, don't feel bad. I'd almost rather starve than eat most of that stuff. Besides, you've done plenty for me already. Back in a bit. It's not like the group will stay forever. I mean, I just, I don't know. Don't jinx it, though, because I don't know who we're going to lose next. I don't know what's going to happen, so let's talk to the kids. All right, how you doing? How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? <laughs> no. A goat? It's a cat. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Catch you later, Duck. Bye, Lee. Okay. Um, Want to go talk to Larry? I don't know, man. See, because you all know Larry does not like me. And Bro tried to kill me in the last episode. So, I don't think we should really talk to him. But, I mean, if you guys want me to chat with them, I, I, I don't even know if we can talk to him. Can we? I hope not. Okay. Nice makeup. I don't, I mean, I, I don't, like, that's the thing. I don't want there to be any beef in our group. So, I mean, I guess that is best if we should do that. Um, Y'all can be buddies. Trust. Maybe you can get good with them. Maybe. Just, I, he's just too cranky, but I'm sure eventually we'll make things up. Um, I'll see, we, well, we'll, right now we're just talking to everybody else, and I'll talk to him last, so we'll see. Alright, it's not the coming time. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Oh, yeah, it just broke. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. Uh, I just, I, I felt something on the floor. I touched it with my foot. I don't know what that was. Okay, that was weird. Okay, um, maybe you can get, um, yeah, he is at the wall. Um, you doing okay? How are you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah, 
Is that man going to be okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. Oh, that's good. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Yeah, I'm still, I still feel bad about that. We tried cutting the trap open, that didn't work. We tried cutting the chain, that didn't work. And we ran out of options, so I had to, I, I had to cut him free. Cause even if I didn't get him out, he was gonna get eaten by the walker, so. Look, just don't look at me like that, guys. That was like the only option I had to do, so. Even though it sucks. You should get like, look, hey, I'm not, this is not that type of game, man. It's not what this is. All right, um. Hey, man, I hope you understand why I didn't give you any food. I'm new. I get it. It's fine, Lee, really. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Mm. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well... I, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of, I don't know, something. That's true. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah, he's not gonna die on us. You know what I'm afraid. Yeah, he, act he did say that in the last episode. He said that. All right, all right, all right. Where is he? Is Larry over? Oh, jeez. I really don't want to talk to him. I know he's gonna come at me aggressive. <sighs> Let's just do it. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got sixty cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. I literally, I just walked up and then he just started freaking talking. I can already tell he is not, excuse me, in a good mood. All right, let's talk to him. <sighs> All right, he wants to, can he wants to. I'm sorry, Larry, there's nothing left. Go piss up a flagpole, Lee. Dang, bro. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Oh, yeah, my axe? give us that thing for a bit. I don't trust Larry with it. No, I don't even trust Larry. Give axe to Mark. See, it's clear. It's clearly obvious who I'm gonna give the axe to because you, you guys already know what Larry's planning to do with it. Giving this to Mark. I'm not giving it to Larry. Yeah, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He. <sighs> oh. I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. True. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, God no. damn it. Oh. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen death, but that doesn't make it any easier. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? No! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh! Get off! Get off of her! Oh my god, that was so close! Woo! Oh my gosh! Get off me! Get off me! Help me! Get, oh, bro, what is happening? Oh, I'm, I'm slamming his head.
what the heck happened? Okay, that all happened too fast. I literally panicked. Oh my god. What? What? I... I don't even know what happened. I didn't know what I was doing. I was like slamming his head like left and right. Okay. Oh, oh geez. And I didn't have my axe on me. You should have smashed him side to side. I was pressing the buttons, but I was like holding it. So you know what? I'm going to spam the left and right buttons. Okay. Let's try that again. Oh my God. Okay. Come on. Get off her. 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 All right. Now I'm about to slam him. Give me the axe. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off me. Get off me. There you go. And then, there we go. Slam his head. Oh, there we go. There you go. Get off me. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Kick him. Kick him, kick him. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. I right, use the S key. Get back. Bro, the ass cannot be that jammed in there. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, poke him in the eye. Shoot it. Shoot it. Woo. Woo. You okay? Okay. Thanks. Woo. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Why Ooh. didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. It's not the bite? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Wait. Oh, jeez. God help us. It makes sense. Those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills, a lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and, God. That's when the tragedy happened. Back off! Oh, it's people. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. Wait, are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Haven't we met these two before? Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. Okay. So, uh, what do y'all think? We'll go. Okay, we'll go to the dairy. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I so, mean, we Mr. really Harry, need food, guys. You guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Nice. All right. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. 
You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. Car's a I real mean, one. thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Oh, Where geez. are you from? I grew up in Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? I am. You guys have any questions? You come to me. How many people you got over Arms there? I'm anyway? bacon. <laughs> um, oh, um, enough to defend ourselves. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for. Well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, was... get down. What was that? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Oh, it's bandits. Oh, bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys will keep it There's only two. Oh, no. There's yeah, a Yeah, you know what? More we ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happened. Let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, oh! Fuck you! Fuck Bro, you! He's, Jesus. Bro, he's dead! Asshole. Dang, what do he do? The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. What is happen what is happening to the world, man? What is happening? Bandits killing each other. <sighs> Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. Four thousand volts. That's a lot. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? I've got things under control over there. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. That place isn't safe like it is here. Now that y'all are I got here, us. we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Mm. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. 
I feel like we can do this. I feel like we're gonna survive. Mark Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Let's make sure this place is safe and we should do whatever we can to help out. Um, Let's make sure this place is safe. Um, Or we should... Well, uh, we should do whatever we can to help out. Let's do that. They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Okay. Let's see how much help they need. Alright. It's time to walk around. So this is the new place. New place, new place, MTV Cribs. Alright. <laughs> Um, okay, so this is the generator. So this, so they said that runs on, yeah, so it runs on gasoline and this whole thing runs on 4,000 volts. Man, this fence is fantastic. We'll do whatever you want to help keep it running. Well, clearing that perimeter is going to be a big help. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Alright, so, oh, it's a saw. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. I mean, an axe is way better, I'm gonna be honest. Alright, all right, talk to Andy. Huh? Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We can uh, help protect the dairy. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Okay, for uh, defense, stop the walkers. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick, you know, like us. Mm, are we your first guests? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Alright, so we're gonna fix the perimeter. Ah, I'm liking this so far. However, the only thing that is a little fishy is that there have been other survivors that stayed with them and made the same exact deal. Wonder what happened to them. Do you think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is gonna go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I. I'm I'm sorry. All right. Mm. I'll work it out somehow. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Hmm. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Okay, um, let's just look at the light. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. I believe so. So, oh, we got an arrow. Well, let me pick this up. 
You're not gonna touch it? Disgusting. Ugh, you don't say. Alright, let's get this off. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't use your hands. Alright, got my axe. Push Come him on. off. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Hmm. Drax. Oh, it's, it's hands. Alright, chop the hands. Oh, jeez. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Alright, we'll go ask for... Well, I mean, I'm hungry too. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're going to be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. I'm sure. All right, Come on, Walker. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Alright, lift it up. No, imagine if this fence was on right now. Alright, okay, let's get it off. Ugh. I'm gonna use my other finger. Alright, there we go. Holy fuck! What just happened? Oh! The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh! oh. What the? Oh, it's at the gate. It's bandits! Uh oh! Oh my gosh! Um, oh jeez, woo, bro really took that, how many are there? No idea, fuck, now what? The fence on that gate is our only way out. Um, what do I do? Um, what, what, what do we do here? I'm so lost. Okay, no, I can't beat my head out. Um, let's, let's push a the tractor. There we go, use that as protection. Can I not push? Oh, I can't push it. What do I do? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Uh, no fuel. No fuel. Of course. Dude, what do we do here? Uh, pull the lever. Oh, oh! Oh, I thought he got him. Um, okay. What can I do here? Okay, got that. Um, what else can I do? Is there anything else I can activate? Nothing. Okay, put, put your head back in. Okay, now can I push it? No, I can't push it. Um, the f wait, wait, wait. So what are we supposed to do here? There's a brick. Wait, where? Hold on. So, what is... I'm so lost. You said there's a brick somewhere? I don't see anything. Um, there was a brick in the way of the front. Where? Oh, there it is. Okay, there you go. Remove that. Come on. All right, now we can push it. There we go. Oh, okay. Move it. Oh my gosh. There you go. Move with it. Move with it. Bro, how many bandits do y'all think there are here? Okay. I will say this though, but I would rather get shot with a bow than get shot 50 times with a shot. What? Oh no. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. What if it's alive? Oh jeez. All right, push it out the way. Okay, it's not alive. Let's go. All right. Come on. Okay, we good. We There's another body. Okay. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Like three, I think. Okay, let's, let's move it out the way. All right, move it out the way. It's not alive, is it? Oh! 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 No! 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 Get off me! No, get off! Oh my god. Oh, oh, get off! Oh, 
Oh, decapitation. You okay? I would have just threw his body in the fence. Come on. There's one behind us. There's one behind us. Bro, how is he still chasing us? Bro, leave us alone. Please. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did I do wrong? You tell me. What did I do wrong? What is I supposed to do there? I don't have to wait. I don't have to start from the whole beginning, though, right? When we started to push this. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we just start from this part. What are we supposed to do here? We push down. Okay, so all right, get this body out the way. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Oh, I was too slow. Maybe I wasn't trying to overlap myself. I wasn't trying to go over the the tractor. Okay, come on. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Come on. All right, throw him in the. See, like at that point, you should have threw him in the fence. Okay. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, I'm. I'm all right. I'm gonna stay right here. There we go. 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 We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We 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 good. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we were too slow. All right. Let's get out of here. All right. Come on. Let's go. Well, that was unfortunate. We were just running too slow. That's all we were doing. Oh my gosh. Alright, bro got shot in the back of it. What was that? The back of his arm or something? Lee, what's wrong? Bandits. There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit. Are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord. What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn it hurts. Yeah, hey, it's it just a little sore. Mark. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Yeah, oh, just no, pull it out. Honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Okay. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Well, it, it isn't as safe. Wait. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Alright, bet. Cause nah, I can't, I can't take that. This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. True. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. That's something. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. We gotta Anytime. find our hat, though. We gotta find that. For you. Okay, well, so since we're gonna be dealing with some bandits tonight, um, I'm down to look forward to that. Um, so, what are we doing right now? Use a gate. Are we just looking around right now at the moment? What's this? A hay pile. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Oh, yeah. 
Wait, what's that? Oh, cornfield. That's gotta be where the bandits are hiding. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. True. So if we're gonna deal with those bandits, we're possibly gonna need a lot more weapons. Cause last time I checked, we don't really have much and a lot of ammo too. And plus bows and arrows, that's way less lethal. I mean, you get shot in the head with that, you're dead. But you get shot in the arm or anything like that, you but should be not fine. There's enough room in the house for all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Yeah, that's fine. So I guess I'm just scoping out the place right now at the moment before I head on out. All right, let's go back. All right, but my question is, how exactly are we gonna take down all? Oh, oh snap! Oh, we can go over here. But how are we gonna take down all of the freaking bandits all at once? Cause who knows how many are there? Oh, what the heck? That was weird. All right, we got Larry. Oh, it's Larry and Lily here. Um, I don't know what that is. All right, I talked to Lily. Probably doesn't want to talk though. Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Um, I take I I take it you and Kenny haven't made up. Um, how do you feel about leaving the motor in? Well, how do you feel about it? How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. <sighs> and I had I had a feeling she was gonna bring that up. Every single time, bro. You try you try to talk to somebody, but they always have the nerve, they have the audacity just to bring up certain stuff from the past. Okay. So far we so so far we just need to get ready to head on out. Maybe your dad should stop me. For real though, like, I don't know, like, Larry is always, oh, snap. <laughs> oh, he's swinging on the swing. I was gonna say, what the heck are they doing? Okay. Um, let me make the swing. They look happy. They do. Let's, uh, let's talk to Clementine. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Yeah. Sure, happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. I know, Duck. I know. This is like... Oh, man. This is like... <laughs> um. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Been lucky out there. Would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. That's true. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. Oh, I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> all right. I guess now's the time. Oh jeez, I'm just I'm really nervous because I have no idea how this is gonna go. Fellas. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. 
You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Let's go. Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. All right. It's time to go. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. We will, Clem. We got this. Cause I, I cannot, we can't with these bandits. We just can't do it. We have to, we gotta do something about these bandits. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. It's a soup can. Here. Oh, it's oh, their camp. Shit. This is it. You found it. Welcome back, really. Right, so right now we're getting ready to take out some bandits. All right, let's be careful. Anything? All right, nobody's there. I feel a little skeptical just walking up to this camp. They could have some stuff here like ammo, uh, food, well probably not food, but possibly a lot of ammunition. You see anybody? Um, looks empty actually, but just stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Cause one of them could be hiding, I don't know where. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Okay. Scope it out. What's in there? Who's in there? Come on out. It's gonna be a walker. It's gonna be a walker. Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Clear. Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. It can't. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So what we got up in this crate? What you got? Got a box. Got a whole bunch of stuff here. What they got in there? Nothing. Nothing in there. What about the box? Empty. Nothing. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they don't got much here. What is this? A chair. A tent. A shopping cart. Oh, what's this? What's in the boxes? Anything at least? What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Mm. Anything worth taking? Uh, not unless you need empty cans. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Yeah, that's probably, I, I don't know, it's probably just a whole bunch of, it's like uh, soup cans and stuff. It's not really useful. What's in here? What is it? Oh, I thought I saw something. What's in there? Boxes from the dairy here. Oh, boxes. It's from Probably the dairy. food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Might as well take that back. What? Oh, what is that? Is that a recorder? Oh, it's a camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Mm. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. Okay. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. Yeah, you can say that. Alright, anything else in here? 
Um, we got a gas can. Does this have any gas in Nothing it? Nothing but fuels. Shit. Mm. Anything else? Bottles. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Yeah, they're all soup cans. They've been feasting on a whole bunch of soup. What's in the kettle? Just water. Oh, just water. It must be boiling some water or something. Uh, look at all this trash. Just it's a whole bunch of useless junk. It's yeah, just a whole bunch of useless I don't stuff. Need that. Yeah, all that trash. Lawn chair. I have a feeling. Why do I have a feeling we're probably gonna find like Clementine's hat uh, around like here so, or something? I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, let's see. In the, all right, let's check out the tent. Anything in here? We found a video camera, so that's like the only worth. That's only. That's the only thing that's worth uh, keeping, because you never know. There might be something crazy on it. All right, what's in the tent? Ah, <sighs> see what we got. A bloody bunny. Jeez. It's a photo. Who is this? It must be it must have been a lost family. Um sleeping bag? What's in there? Wait, what is that? Wait. Oh my uh, god! Hell? We actually found oh! oh shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. We actually found what the it. What happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are, and I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Who Steal are you? Everything what happened? From me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the Ooh. fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. Fuck I did. That's them other people. These good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met them. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right Ooh. through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. I don't want to shoot her straight yes, away. Sir, I need it. I needed to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell Plus him. Plus, if I shoot it, it's going to make too much noise. Oh! Okay. That happened too, all too fast. Jeez. But God yeah. damn it. Dude. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. But yo, I actually jinxed it. We literally found Clementine's hat there. I did not. What? It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. What was her hat doing there That's in the it. first place? You going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Jeez, that crossbow though. I I might as well take it. Yep. See, go ahead and take it. Could be useful. Now, oh, and I have an arrow, so I can Come use on. it. But yo, what was Clementine's hat doing there? Like, first of all, how did she even take it? Like, we weren't even a. Who was what? I have so many questions. I have no idea how her hat ended up there. Because I don't recall Clementine ever taking her hat off. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. Well, at least what they didn't happened? kill him. Handled it, Mama. 
I mean, yeah, they hurt my friend, but they didn't kill him. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll oh do my it God. myself. Lily's always starting something. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. They gotta go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Okay. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Okay. Yo, by the way, I wonder, um, oh, I forgot his name. Uh, how's our friend doing? You guys remember his name? He got shot with the arrow. Oh, yeah, come and tell me you have your hat. But yeah, I wonder how is he doing? I mean, it's been a while since we even saw from him before he got shot with the arrow. Is he holding up? Is he holding up all right? Um, I'm a, so I'm gonna go ahead and give come and her hat back. I'm still. I have so many questions. How did? How did her hat ended up? How did she get her hat? Like what? Okay. Give me dinner. Yeah, I mean. Um. By the way, chat. Um. Was I, am I the only one who didn't really eat later on? I mean, I actually just got done eating a few uh minutes ago. Would you guys eat today, chat? Oh no, it's a cattle. Is it okay? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. Oh, I was gonna say, I hope it's not dying. It's okay, go ahead. Go ahead. By the way, I've never been this um I've never been this close to a cow. Never been that close. Hodges says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see. Had a burrito. Clementine. You must be you really you really want Larry to You'll find out soon. Thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. A salt yeah, lick? Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> it's a we salt lick. lick. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Clementine. <laughs> okay. It's really called a salt lick, and you're gonna. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I forgot his name. Uh, Cause I didn't. Cause like, this is like my only. This is the only episode that we interacted with him. I forgot his name, but I don't know where he is. I mean, the last time we saw him, he got shot in the arm with an arrow. Hopefully, he's doing okay. All right, let's go ahead and give Clementine her hat back. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Yeah, cause... Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Um, have a thought about it, really. I like to, actually. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, Aww. thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you, you want to so pet the fun. cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. At this point, like, Clementine is like a daughter to me right now. Like, I know we're not related. I know I'm not her, like, like, I know she's not like a blood of mine, but she is just an overall sweetheart. And I just really claim her as my daughter at this point. This is, <laughs> I love her. Okay, so anyways, um... So dinner's gonna be ready in a few minutes, and I finally we finally found Clementine's hat. Um, but however, we still need to de we still need to deal with the um, the bandits because all we found was the camp. That's all we found. So I have no idea how we're gonna take out these bandits. Um, so let's let's talk to Tan let's talk hey, to Andy about Andy. it. Yeah. How's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Certified doctor. When do you think we might eat? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Okay. 
We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Why do I have a feeling that low-key, um, Clem has that effect on people? For real, though, yo, I don't care what you guys say. Clem is an overall sweetheart. I really claim her as my daughter now. I don't care. I don't care what you guys say. Like I said, we're not blood-related, but at this rate, she's now, she certified my daughter. And it's just, it's crazy how brave she is at this age, at eight years old. Can you imagine being eight years old going through this? I might, bro, my heart could never do that. All right, so we could check out these doors. All right, what we got up in here? These, uh, they kind of look like little, uh, sleeping rooms. It's a pretty decent little, uh, space. All right, something there. Nothing in there. All right, what about here? Alright, that's the salt lick I believe they were talking about. Is that the salt lick? I, I don't know. Hay bale. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. <laughs> okay. I know, Duck. I know. I know. Yo, who used to do that? Um, See, as a kid, when I... Like, as a kid, when I used to go to places like this, like, I... Because, what was it? Like, back in elementary school, I went to this, um, it was a school field trip. It was this place called Old McDonald's Farm. And they had, like, this little hay bale area for kids to play in. Me and my friends would go crazy in the hay. Like, we would get a lot in our eyes and stuff like that. But in the end, it was really fun. So, I can understand why Duck is upset as to why he can't play in the hay. Oh, what's in here? Oh, it's dairy boxes. Something inside? Empty. All empty. All right. I, I guess that's everything. It's not much else. Yo, when's food going to be ready, though, man? I'm starving. I mean, I just ate, but still, kind of hungry. What's over here? Oh, it's locked. You found it, too, huh? Hey, Kenny. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. So you wanna break in, in here? Them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Okay. So it seems like we have this very, very hard and destructible hey, lock. Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Okay. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Come on, man. Just because I'm urban doesn't mean I know how to pick a lock, okay? Well, I don't know if that's true, though. Chat, is that true? Do urban people know how to pick locks? Yeah, let me know. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? No, we're fine. Uh, just checking out the barn. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, oh. bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Yeah, Loki, I think they're actually hiding something. I can tell they're hiding something. I just don't know what it is. Uh, distract any to get him out of the barn. Okay. Um, should we, like, get him out of the room or something? I don't know. But they are definitely hiding something. Chad, what do you think he's hiding? I want to know what he's hiding. Um, I can't get the lock off the door. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. 
Yeah, a screwdriver. That's what we need. Or something flat. We just need something flat to get the screw off. Um, how do I distract Andy? Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Okay. Yeah, because I want to know what's behind that barn. And it's probably some. I don't know what it is, but, I can, but from what I can tell, it's probably something extremely uh, dark or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, let me look outside real fast. What are they cooking? No, I don't know what they're cooking, man. That's what I'm trying to figure. Either they're hiding something. Look, okay. They're hiding something, but I don't. <laughs> what? So, how does a woman like yourself? Oh, like no. Larry. Oh, just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. This dude out here macking. I'm done. Are you serious? Bro, we already know what's in there because we can't tell you. I don't know what's in there. I generally do not know what's in there. But what? But right now, we need to focus on getting him out of there. So how exactly do we get Andy out of here? Um, I have, oh, oh, I still have the video camera. So I got that, but it's dead anyway. So we have to fix on that. I know. So we need to figure out. We need to figure out what's um what's the best way to get him out of there. Okay, Lily's still over there. And Larry's just, he's just freaking macking right now, so we're not going to bother him. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna talk to um, Andy and see if we can try to get him out or something. He's got that W Riz. I didn't even know he had Riz to begin with. Bro got that cranky Riz. Larry talking that game. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's talk to Andy. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Uh, Danny mentioned he needed you for something. But wait, wait, wait. Um... We need to find a screw. No, 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 no. Actually, hold on. So before we even try that method, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look outside and try to find something. We gotta find a screwdriver somewhere. So, cause I know if we uh, tell him about Danny, he's wanting, he's gonna want to step out of the room. But we don't even know how much time we got before he comes back. So we need to find a screwdriver first. All right. So where could the screwdriver be? Um, I got my axe, but that's not gonna do much. Oh wait, there's a toolbox over there. Toolbox. Let's go over there. All right, what's in this toolbox? Screwdriver. All right. I'm kind of. I'm really curious. I want to see what they're hiding. Oh, there's no. Oh, oh, it's a multi-tool. Oh, it's probably has a screwdriver head. That should be handy. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. All right. Let's take that. Let's get Andy out and let's see what they're hiding behind that door. Cause I really want to know. All right. Oh, in the generator. Oh, I could use the generator? Oh, no, I'm not going to touch that. Okay. So we got the screwdriver, aka the multi-tool. So now we can see what's behind the door. So we're going to get Andy out, and we're going to check what's behind the door. Alright, come on. I have a feeling it's going to be like a dead cow or something. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay. All right, you go. You go out. Do your thing. All right, let's go. All right, let's go for the door. All right, Kenny. We can do this now. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right. Good to hear. All right, let's do it. Come on. All right, let's hurry up. Oh, snap. We doing this. Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, all right. False alarm. I'm back. Oh! Why did he come back so fast? Wait, what the? Um, okay. Luckily, we didn't get caught. Dude. Okay. That, I don't think that shouldn't have happened. Wait, so how are we supposed to do this without him being in the room? Are you serious? We breaking in or not? We have to get in there, but why, how, why did he come back in so fast? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Okay, what now? Try distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. I know what it is. I know what to About do. Those generators. I was just gonna say that the generators. Yeah, because I remember I could touch those. Okay, you know what? All right. Yo, I am on it right now. I'm on fire. Let's go find another way. We got it. We find. I finally figured it out. I was just gonna talk about that. It's the generators that we need to uh, mess with. Okay, so we're going to turn on this generator, and then we're going to distract Andy, which should keep him off a lot more longer. Multi-tool, and we can finally see what's behind the door. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. 
clueless about this stuff. Okay. Well, it don't even matter. Let's go. I'm just gonna touch it. All right. Let's uh, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. So now we're gonna go. We're gonna go let Andy know. Oh, he already, he's already coming out. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. <laughs> Something's always tripping the breaker. Is that all that's it? What? Are you serious? Are, okay. Let me touch it one more time. Maybe if, wait, maybe if we keep touching it, then he'll want to uh, stay out a little bit longer. All right, let's keep touching it. We're going to keep messing with this thing. All right, shut it off. See, because he knows when the generator goes off. All right, get back up. <laughs> it's kind of funny messing with this generator. <laughs> okay i just thought of something so if we keep messing with this if we keep shutting it off he'll think that that one's like going out and then he'll have to go get another generator that is if he has one so i mean either way though he's gonna have to get a whole new generator all right let's keep messing with this generator now let's go all right that should that should make him want to um leave now Hey, my man, you gotta get a whole new generator because this thing is just, it is just not working. Oh, I don't think he's gonna. I think, wait, one more time should do it, guys. One more time should do it. I, I think one more time. All right, one last time. All right. All right, we're gonna do this one last time. All right, shut it off. Okay, and shut. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, the panel I can mess with this okay Access. okay hold on hold on I could use this hold on hmm. guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this got the tool let's go I didn't even notice that I didn't even know we could touch that okay so we're gonna mess with this part there, you go. there we go all right so now use the bell Wait, what can I do with this ow damn it oh thing is moving fast Okay, um, I don't even know why I tried touching it with my fingers anyway. Alright. Ow, damn it. Thing is moving fast. Okay, yeah, that thing is, uh, what can I use for this? Okay, so, we got the, okay, I can't touch it. Should I, wait, should I, t oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna open that. No, wait, actually, is there something else in this, uh, toolbox that we could find? Maybe there's something else. A board, a saw, what can I do? So it's obviously something that we need to do with that access panel, but um, turn it off first. Oh, okay, so the access panel is open. So now I'm going to turn it off. So that's, it's now open, so now I'm going to turn it off, and that should hold them off a lot longer. All right, turn it off. There we go. Okay. Does that do the trick? Are we good to go this time? You good, man? Okay, yeah, that did not do the trick. Okay, so we, so it's confirmed. We need to find something. Look at gas cans. What, what can we do? We need to put something into the generator access panel. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Okay. So what can we do? Look at the outlet. What can I do here? You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. I feel like the easiest way to mess with that thing is just to unplug it. But uh, we need to we need to find something. So, well, chat, what do you think we should uh, use for the? Um, what do you think we should use for the access panel? Cause we gotta jam it. We gotta jam something in there. I don't know what. She, I don't know what we could put in there though. All right, said to Danny. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. Oh. <laughs> It's isolated. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. Hmm. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You really like that gun. What's not to like? Um. Not much, I guess. Exactly. 
I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a good one. Yeah, Danny, you're kind of freaking me out. Okay, I'm now starting to not trust these guys. Um, but anyways, we need to figure out how to jam this uh access panel for the generator. Maybe there's something here that we can use. Maybe you could turn it off and break the inside. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just thought about that. Yeah. Hold on, hold up. All right, hold on. So I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to... Hold on. Yo. All right. Turn it off, and then mess with this. There we go. There we go, baby. Yeah, we got it. That should do it. All right. Nice. Good job. Good job, chat. Through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Let's go, guys. We in there. We in there. All right. Let's see what's behind this door. What do you guys think is behind the door? I mean, I'm sure you guys already know what it is. I'm gonna say it's probably a dead cow, um, a walker corpse or something. I don't know. Something like a corpse or something. But that should hold him off longer enough. So we going in there now. Let's go. Yo, we really doing this? All right, Kenny, we did it. Let's go. I picked up something. Oh, I already, already told him about this. Lock. Nothing to stop you now. All right, let's go. We in there? Let's go. Come on, give me my prize. What's behind the door? What's that noise? Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Oh, it means the food's okay, ready. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Hold on, Kenny, Doug. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. All right. Get that thing off. All right, Kenny, you go off. I got this. I'll let you know if I see. I'll let you know if I see anything crazy. Let's go, man. We in there. All right. Let's unscrew this thing. Oh wait! Oh, Screws I didn't press that holding thing. it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. All right, so now let's remove these screws. All right, there we go. Yo, I am so. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see what this is. Oh, I keep pressing Screws the wrong thing. holding it to the door. If I can remove them, I don't even need to deal with the lock. All right, there you go. All right, last one. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong. Like I said, man. Like I, I'm not used to keyboard controls, okay? But I wanted to do this a whole different way to get a better experience. All right, there we go. Lock is broke. What we got? Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna get shot? <gasps> oh my god! Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Um dinner time. Okay. Why is there so much blood in here? Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama oh. doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So, so you see, okay. nothing to worry about. Okay. All right, that makes sense. I thought we was finna see like a whole corpse or something in there, or or like a dead cow. Okay. I, I thought he was gonna hold like a gun or something at the back oh, of my head. Brenda, you are wow. an angel. It makes sense as to why he locked the door because he don't want like he doesn't want kids or anybody seeing that. After Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody, sit wait. Down. Now go get the meal. Did y'all see that? This is a delight. I could eat a horse. Why does he have a gun in his back pocket? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Yo, why is he holding a gun? He, he has a gun in his back pocket. Yo, Ch I don't know about this, man. I'm actually really conf- I am- Oh, no. And his college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Of course they're not. A baseball trophy. Danny's baseball trophy. Mm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. 
Alright, scratch is on the Walkers floor. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Okay. A medicine cabinet. What we got up in here. What is this? Bottle, shaving cream, and a box. Gauze pads. Oh, gauze pads. Some kind of lotion. And lotion. I could use a shave. You, you, <laughs> you don't say, ma'am. You have to go for a shave right now. Okay. Um, can I not wash my hands right now? Well, I can go upstairs, though. Yo, Chad, what do you think these guys are hiding? I'm, I'm kind of nervous, because I... What if they, like, kill everybody? Because, like, Andy randomly ha He has a gun... Bro has a gun in his back pocket, and I think he's going to pop off at some point. Oh, no. See, now I'm starting to understand Lily's drift as to why we can hardly trust anybody. But where does this cord lead to? Alright, it's a closet. What's in here? What is this? What? Oh, it's a power cord. Trash can. Excuse me. Towel. Morphine. Candles. Smart. Oh, candles. Trash can. Alright, let's, uh, let's see what these power cords do. I don't know what it does, but I'm kind of nervous. Did that do anything? What the hell? Wait, what is that? What? Huh? I'm so lost. Wait. Where does that... Where did that lead to? I am... Guys, I'm so lost. What are they hiding? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh! It's blood. Is that blood? There ain't no ketchup. Nor paint. Alright, what's behind this bookshelf? Oh, it's blocking the doorway. Oh, jeez. I feel like whatever's behind this door is the answer to all our questions right now, so... <sighs> Alright, chat. I don't know what's behind this door, but... I'm planning this. I'm... Uh, let's, let's just go. Alright, what's behind the door? What is it? <gasps> oh! What happened to his leg? Ma oh, Mark, that was his name. What the hell happened? What happened to him? <laughs> Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't. What happened to him? Dinner. <laughs> Wait, don't. Wait. Is that. Clementine. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Bro, we're eating humans! Oh, no, 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 no. Don't eat that. Do, bro, do not eat that. Bro, stop it. No, don't eat that. Don't eat that. What? Huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Don't Lee, eat that. He just had a start. Dude. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Oh, I'm being Jesus. direct with you right now. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm being Don't serious. There's always something with this guy. Dude. Man, I was eating Go that. upstairs and have Go a look. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Dude, go upstairs. Look. I'm telling you, this woman's crazy. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down. So you had to cut his legs you off? Up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. Oh. And how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. That doesn't give you the right to eat? To better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to I'm being right. direct. It doesn't matter. You're sick. Andy is right. You can't we be that desperate for food. We're gonna die anyways. One way or another. That's... That, bro, that's cannibalism. Uh, you do not care about that? Um... Clementine, run! Get out of there, Nobody's go. Nobody's going anywhere. I knew we it. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking you out of here! Don't go near my fucking Mommy, family! I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. 
Lee? Lee? No! Come at time! Let her go! Let go of her, you son of a bitch! No. Oh! Mark? Is that Mark? Did he fall down the stairs? Yo, that is sick! Ugh. Please. That's Mark. Now you believe me? Wow. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh my god! Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> what are they doing? I will tear you fuckers Stop apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! Oh, we're, oh! oh shit, <laughs> Yo, I'm about to puke, bro. Open this door, God damn it! I will knock the Please, goddamn Dad, door down. Stop. Bro, I'm about to vomit. It, this. It was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. Yeah, I know. You didn't do it. No. The you didn't eat it. Did, God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Ugh. What happened? The man hit you. They threw us in the meat locker. Lee, we gotta get out of here. If they so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches. Get us out, you sons of bitches! Dad! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Why are you mad at me still? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Oh my god. Okay. All right, what we got here? Got an air conditioner. Please settle <sighs> down. I'll rip your gun. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Uh, yeah, see, calm down, Larry. Uh, calm down know. there, man. Oh God. Dad? Is he dead? <gasps> oh! Is he dead? No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Is he dead? Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead, he's not. If he's dead, dead. he's gonna become a walker. Oh, what has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel. How fast he turned. What are you saying? Well, he's I'm gonna sorry. turn. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you, dude. Don't bring him back, Lee. What do you want me to do? Right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny. He is not dead. Uh. Maybe you're right. No, god damn it. My dad survived worse than this. He's not Look, breathing. Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on. We know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Exactly. Come on, Lee. I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. He's Always gonna turn. Do. We have to do this. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help me. He's gonna turn. Come on. You're right, Kenny. Let's get this you over. You fucking monsters. He's gonna turn. Oh, I don't wanna see. I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no. Come, come. Don't watch. Don't watch. Get off me. Don't do this. Oh my no, god. I'm sorry, no, Lily! No. Come on! Let go of me! Lily, you you have to no, please. Come on, Lily! No. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Yo! I'm sorry. I Don't know. you fucking touch me! <laughs> oh my, Clementine! Clem. Clem. Okay. Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He was. Well, we couldn't take that I'm chance. Sorry. We couldn't take that chance. We couldn't. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine? So we won't turn into one of those monsters. That's right. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Something hopeful. 
A safe place. Your walkie talkie. Oh no no no. A safe place. Safe place safe where no monsters can get you. Think about that. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Oh my gosh, uh hello, sorry for no, I don't think that's a bot. No, it's, it's not a bot. See, if it was a bot, it would be promoting something. It would be putting a link, but no, that's not a bot. Sorry for bothering you. I want to offer a promotion to your channel. Chat bots. Okay, actually, that may be a bot, low-key. Hold on. Oh, jeez. Like, what were we supposed to do here? <clears throat> Go to stream this. What's it called? Oh, oh, snap. I accidentally clicked out of the thing. Oh, my bad, my bad. My bad, chat. Yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It's called go to stream rise. Yeah, don't worry about that, guys. That's just a bot. Don't worry about that. Okay, but anyways, that is just traumatic. So we literally had to. We have to freaking kill the. Oh. So we had to kill Larry. Unfortunately, I know you guys have been saying like, hey, we can make up with them. But at that point, we couldn't save him. There was no medicine. There was nothing we could do. There was nothing that we could do at that point. So at that rate, we just, we had to do what had to be, we had to do what had to be done. We couldn't take that chance. We couldn't let him turn. Because if we do, possibly anyone else could turn. Even Kenny could turn. Think about that. Um, you want to take off this message? Um, no, you could just leave it there. It's just, it's just telling us, it's just telling me what, whatever. But if I had a link or whatever, it'd be more of a threat. But that's just nothing. Just, you just leave it there. And plus, I'll deal with it after the stream. So, don't worry about that. I'll deal with it afterwards. Anyways. Oh, jeez. Hey, Larry was going to turn if you did. Because he was going to turn in, like, the first, like, he was going to turn in, like, the next 15 minutes. But, oh, jeez, bro. We had to do what had to be done. We had to do it. I'm get so away. Sorry. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. I'm sorry. And I don't even think talking to Lily will be an option right now. But we need to get out of here. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. What now? What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What are they doing to catch you? Yeah, really, I'm really sorry that we had to... I, now, really, I don't even know from your... Pro, I don't even know from your point of view if you took... If you... You played this game, but I don't know if you made that choice. And if you haven't, I am genuinely sorry. I just couldn't... We couldn't take that chance. He was going to turn either way. Because at that point, he wasn't breathing. We couldn't save him. We just... There's no way we could save him at that point. So we had to do what had to be done. So I am genuinely sorry. Oh my gosh. Okay. So anyways, we need to figure out a way out of here. All right. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's going to do to her. For real though, I don't know. See, and that's another thing. I kind of didn't want to do it because Clem was there, but... Oh, jeez. And this whole episode just makes me want to puke. This this whole thing went from action to just making me want to throw I up. an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Bro. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. My multi-tool. Multi -tool. Exactly. Yo, if I did not have that on me. Shit. Oh, oh, they took it. Of course they did. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. That could help. But dang though, okay, what can I do here? Look at the screw. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Okay. And I was just gonna say, um, good thing I got my multi tool. Of course they took it. Why did I think that? It's not coming off that way. Yeah, they're in too tight. There yeah, we we need like it's a coin or something. Alright, so we need to find like a coin, because a rock is not gonna do much. Okay, so let's look around for a coin. Or something flat. Um, let's see. Anything? Anything in here that we could find? I didn't talk to Kenny. Oh my gosh. Okay, the air conditioner might be our way out. If the duck behind the air conditioner is big enough. We might have found our way out of here. Yeah. But I need something to loosen the screws. I got nothing. Shit. Hang tight. Maybe I can scrounge something. Okay. 
Um, listen, I... Oh, okay, Kenny kind of moved out of the way. I can't. I still can't go over there. There's got to be something. Oh, jeez. And talking to Lily is not even going to be an option right now at the moment. But I'm going to just try. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. Gotta pull yourself. Listen. I know you hate Kenny and me too. But he did what he had to so we can all go on living. For what? He's got his family. And you've got Clementine. I've got nothing. You've left me with nothing. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. I don't remember that. My father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Okay, appreciate that. Yeah, I don't remember him talking about oh, coins in his boy. pockets. Oh. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Uh, I don't know. His left or right pocket? Fucking vulture! Alright, which pocket? Alright, which pocket is it? Alright, is it this pocket? Huh, he still carried his wallet. Is there a coin in there? Alright, no, no coin. It's just his wallet. Wallet in there. What about this pocket? A ring. A ring. My mother's. Don't worry, I'm not taking Yeah, we're not gonna take that. Alright, we just all we need is a coin. Here we go. There we go. Two quarters and a dime. Two quarters and a dime. Alright, two quarters and a dime. That's uh what? That's uh 60, 60 cents? Alright, 60 cents. Remove these screws and get this unit off. Alright, will 60 cents be worth to help us? I think it is. Alright, chat. There we go. See, that's one thing I really like about coins. Not only are they useful for like, you, you know, it? yeah, one more should do it. But yeah, lot not only are coins useful for like, you know, currency and stuff like that, but they're like useful tools for screws, like flat stuff. You can even you can unlock a flat uh door lock with those. And trust me, I've done it. Let's go. Well, here's our way out, me. Alright, it's too small. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. I can do it. Clem? You could do this, Clem? See, that's what I'm saying. Clem is so brave. Now, you don't really have to do this, though. Keep this in... Well, do you think you could do this, actually? You think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. Yo, W Clem right now, chat. That's what I'm saying. Clem is so fine. brave. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. All right, Clem. The faith is in your hands right now. You could do this. Yo, this is crazy, bro. This whole episode went from being action-filled to non-stop disgusting. We're eating humans. We're... Clem? Bro, please tell me Clem's okay. It's open. Are you okay? Did anyone see you? No, but there's a man outside. Yo, good job, Clem. Let's go. Lee, I can see him. It's not safe in here. For God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Come on, Lily. We have get to go. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Let's go. Yo, W. Clem. Oh, oh, I know where we are. I know what room this is. Okay. A trap out. Oh, are those organ? Is that a noose? 
Why have I told you there was something up with this room? Why have it's a noose a in here? Human slaughterhouse. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to look for? Okay, we need to find a way to get out of here. A hay hook. Alright, I'm gonna take that just in case. Should be a good weapon. Jars. Oh, it's like kidneys and lungs and intestines. I think I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, I, I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Got the vent. Got the saw. God, what's wrong with these people? I mean, like Henny said, it's a human slaughterhouse. What is this? A mini cattle prod. What is that? Oh. It's like a taser. I'm keeping this. Oh, he put it back. Oh, I can't carry both. Oh, man. Uh, wait, what, which weapon should we take? What, wait, which weapon should we take? Should we take the taser? That's what I'm going to call it because that's literally what it's like. It, it might as well be called a taser at that point. Should we take the taser or the hay hook? Let me know, chat. Let me know. I don't know. Okay, so we got that. The bloody tub. Dang, I don't even know what to take. The hay hook or the, the taser? See, now, the taser is probably not going to kill him. It'll probably just have him paralyzed or just on the floor tweaking out for, like, the next, like, hour or so. So, maybe the, maybe the, maybe the hay hook will be a lot more effective. Because if we stab somebody with this once in a certain part, they should be dead. Alright, we'll take the hay hook. Alright, take that and let's put that down. Alright, let's go. So, what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. I know Just we need to kill him. Me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds Just good. Me. Grab okay. his gun. You ready? All right, let's go. And I have the hook. I can use that to grab it. All right, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Stay close. All right. Oh, the door's already open. I thought the door was locked. It would make sense if they locked it. All right, stay close. Oh, there's his gun. I have the hook. I can use that to grab it. Let's go. All right, Kenny. Is he really talking about favorites right now? Hey, what are you doing outside the bar? Oh! Just guarding the place, like you said. Oh my gosh. Okay, what do we do here? Um, what do we do? Is there any way we can get out of here? No way? Get her away. Oh, I know, Okay. Keep your eyes on me. When I let them think they can just walk right out. As soon as it passes, it's over. See what he's doing now. See where he is now. Okay. Where is he? Oh, is he setting up a trap? Okay, he just. I think he just set up a trap. Sick fucker thinks this is a game. See where he is now. Oh! Grab a gun! Grab a gun! Woo! Oh, there we go. Oh my God, I was not expecting that. Uh oh. Get the gun. Oh, good job. Hit him in the trap. Let's go. Ankle in the trap. Let's go. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No, can't. Lee, come on. Just go. I won't be far behind. Oh, I'm finna deal with you. Now I need answers. I'm talking to you. Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. Um. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? Exactly. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't Spare. have what it takes. Spare or kill him. Fucking coward. Spare or kill him. I'm, I'm thinking. Mm, I'm done with you. You're done. You're done. You're done. Ugh. Oh no. Clem just saw that. Oh jeez. 
Oh no! Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, what is wrong with me, man? Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Oh man. I don't, yeah, I don't think I shouldn't have done that. I got a little carried away. I'm just trying to keep us safe. I didn't want him to get up or do anything. Okay. Oh, man. Kenny? Kenny? Yo, it is. Bro, it's raining like crazy. I'm, oh, I can't move. Is that walk? Is that a walker? It's a walker! Alright, it's a walker. Okay, so... Oh! Carly! Let's go! You're back! Oh my gosh. Ben! as we were coming up to the house. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Two left! Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house! And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is! Alright! We're coming in to help! Yo, hopefully the Kenny's okay! Too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in! I'll keep looking for Kenny! Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Let's go. Oh my god. No, no, please, no, no. What are they doing to them in there? What are they doing to her? I'm gonna take boy and kick her out. Oh. Is that you? What's going on out there? Where are Katja and the kid? Oh, God. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Oh no, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. Oh snap. Oh no! Let her go, Brenda. Let her go! Where, bro, where is Kenny at? Oh, oh snap. Okay, I can open the door. Bro, please don't kill her. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Why are you doing this? Oh my Stop gosh. right there. I mean it. What do I do? I don't have a weapon. I'm talking. It doesn't have to be like this. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill oh! me. Uh oh. Oh. She dead. She dead. She's dead. She is dead. Stay back. Don't do anything stupid. I'm not. What? What happened, Brenda? Your family was obviously smart, huh? Bro, How she doesn't know there's a this? walker behind her. Just stop. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking back. I don't wanna kill you, Lee. Well, just put the gun down. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop. Come on, why is how's the walker not gone her yet? Get her! Oh my gosh. Come on. There we go. Ah! Let's go! Ah! Let's go! Where's Kenny? I said, don't move, asshole! Don't you fucking hurt him! Oh my god! Where's Doug? Oh, god damn it. Oh. That ain't gonna happen! Bro, please don't kill him! Don't shut up! Oh. No! Kenny! Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Brought this on yourself. No, uh-uh. You did this. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. Oh! Let's go! Get him! 
Oh, oh you stopped my friend Kenny! Oh. Ah, get up, Lee! Oh, come on, Lee! What are you doing? He's gonna put me in the. Oh no, get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! No! Get away! Get away! Nope, you ain't gonna do this. Now you're not gonna do this to me. Nope, 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 get back! Oh! Oh, please! Please! Please, please, please! Please! I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this! Oh! Get him! Lily, help! Lily, please! Please! Uh, Lily! Oh my god! Lily, bro, please do something! Let's go! Oh my god! He almost killed me! Sit down! Okay, Lee. I think he's down. Uh, maybe not. Uh, uh, come on. You done yet? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Busted his ear up. You ain't shit. It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dan and Mama get out here! Oh. Oh, fuck! That's not happening. They're not coming. What do you mean? What do I mean? Me? What the fuck do you mean? What do I mean? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! It's over. Get back here and finish this, Lee! Alright, it's a good thing Kenny's okay, because I thought, oh my god, I thought he was dead. No, 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 oh, I'm going this way. Nah, skip that. I'm done. I'm going back. Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! It's over. It's over. Lee! I wasn't gonna do that in front of everybody, no. That's too much. I've killed too many people today. They're getting in. Oh no, the walkers! Wait, is the fence not on? Let's go. Alright. We're just glad I'm just glad that every well not everybody got out of here alive. Oh man, especially Kenny. I, bro, I thought it was I thought he was done. It's done. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That was insane. From that from now on, we're not trusting anybody. I have massive trust issues now. Dang. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But... I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Oh yeah, my yeah. video camera. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Oh no, Kenny, please, <sighs> please. How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. 
Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Yo, Kenny better be good. Kenny better make it through this. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? It'll be fine. Lily will get over it. She has to. You're a better leader for us anyway. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? I really shouldn't have done that, really. I'm sorry you had to see that, but I only did it to protect us. Because they tried to hurt us? Yes. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? What noise? I don't hear anything. Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Oh, no, please. It Don't jinx it, Ben. Please don't. Oh, that is a car. Somebody's car? Yo, somebody just left their car unattended? Is this safe to take or something? I don't know. I don't trust it. Hello? Hello? Push the car slowly. Who would just leave their car unattended like that? This is gonna be a setup, 100%. Nobody would just do this. It's even, especially leaving the door open. Yo, what is that in the car? Is that like food and stuff? I hope so. What is in here? Figures. Oh crap! What? Baby, you gotta see this. Oh! A shitload of food and supplies back here. Ooh! Really? I thought that was this just boxes. This could save all of us. It could. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? To be fair, yeah, really, to be fair, they did leave it open. Like, they was really just, they, they were asking for it at that point. And we're running low on food, supplies, ammunition, and all that, so. And they even left the door open. That's even the worst part. Like, if you're going to leave your car, at least lock the door, at least. So they were just asking for it at this point. And we're running low on everything, so we have no choice. Um, but at the same time, though, Clementine does have a point. But I'm going with my gut for this. We have to. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. That's the one that's one of the perks when it comes to being a leader. You have to make really tough decisions. And hopefully Clem will understand that. I, I'm sure I'm sure she's slowly starting to understand. Uh Oh, I have a key? Oh, I ha oh, I I took the key out of the thing. What is this? We got supplies, a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let's take Great. some supplies. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. There you go, Duck. All right, take supplies. That. I'll take it. All right. More food in here. All right, Kenny, you taking this? Oh, Lily. All right, all right, all right. Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. All right, good job, man. Okay. Oh, it's a sweater. It's a hoodie. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Yeah, just just hold on to it. We're not like the bandits, though. Keep that in mind. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? Yeah, we didn't hurt I anyone. I guess so. 
Exactly. Alright, that should be everything. And plus, I don't even know how long this car has been out for, but still. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Ooh. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. The footage? I told you, there might be some oh, very shit. crazy stuff on it. What's... Oh, we get to see it. <gasps> they were watching us the whole time! Wait, where'd our hat go? Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. <laughs> oh, darling baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If Y'all thinking it, you're I'll safe? You know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Yo... What? So that's how the hat was stolen? Next time on The Walking Dead? Alright, what we got coming up? Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to oh. get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases anymore. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Oh, well, he's headshot. Not doing so good, huh? Well, we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! My god, that was loud. Oh my gosh, long road ahead. That's not- Oh, okay, let's see the results on here. I forgot about this. So, Savior. 84% of players chopped his leg off, so I wasn't the only one on that. I thought it was going to be like maybe 30%. Most people probably would have got him out a whole different way. Shot Jolene, 87%. Um, Helped kill Larry. 31% of players. I didn't want to take that chance. I really did not want to. Because if he were to turn, that would have that would have made the whole situation a lot more wilder and a lot more crazier. And possibly Clem could have turned. Lily could have turned. Who else? Killed both of the St. Jonas brothers. I only killed one of them. I've only killed one. I spared Andy because I wanted him to witness what I wanted him to witness all this as payback. Because killing him would be just a little too much. So witnessing that would just be a lot more better. Survival stole fruit from the car. Fifty five percent of people. That should be shouldn't that be at least like eighty seven percent? Because I'm sure a lot of people would like I mean, because like who would leave their car unattended? Like the door is open. Like, come on now. You're just basically asking to get robbed at that point. But overall, though, that by far had to be the most disgusting. And that that was somewhat of a plot twist as well. Like, you know, me, us finding out how Clem got our hat stolen and stuff like that. And finding out that we were actually eating humans. So there's been a lot of plot twists in this episode so far. So this by far was the most plot twist episode and the most disgusting episode. And a lot of surprises, too. Dang. That was crazy. Yo, episode two. 
And now I don't know. By the way, I don't really have any. I don't really have any other expectations for episode three. I don't really know that yet. I mean, because from the looks of it, it didn't really seem too crazy. Besides the fact that you know uh, we're now in an RV, we're now on the road. I don't know what could happen. So we're gonna have to keep. We're gonna have to keep that in mind, guys. But overall, though, I and on top of that, ever since we filmed the first episode, the first episode, so much happened. Literally, it was the first episode. We had to, we already, we already had to make like what, like two or three very difficult choices, and that really just comes to show how how crazy this is getting so far. But then ever since that stream, I was really thinking, like I could not stop thinking about it. And I'm like, I really want to see more of this story. I really wanted to see what else was gonna happen. But man, oh man. So thank you guys so much for um joining me in another episode of the walking dead and um, we're gonna keep on continuing um and also um just keep in mind um which i'm sure you guys already noticed from the first stream um once we complete all of the once we complete the full series like the full five part series because there's five episodes in this once we beat that we're gonna do the dlc which is 400 days which i don't really know too much about because i don't even remember playing that or even beating that i don't know but so further and more we're gonna get to that but overall though i could just like this whole walking dead series now telltale games in my opinion is the best video game developers when it comes to story best games because i don't know if they've worked on any other games that are like action or rpg or anything like that i mean you let me know maybe they have i just never really haven't uh, checked that out but even for a game in 2012 this is a 2012 game because back in games back in 2012 and stuff like that weren't even the best and this by far just had to be the number one game that they by far had to produce and this by far was just this game just takes the cake it's insane so anyways that was episode two which was star for hope the third episode what was it long road ahead i think so i think that's what it was so i hope you guys are ready for that next episode and then we'll have what we got three episodes i think three episodes because in total there's six including the dlc episode which i'm really excited to check that out so anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this stream thank you guys so much for thank you thank you all so much for stopping by i am really really curious to see the ending to this because i don't know what we're going to be expecting in season two three or four which is the final season but from what i can tell or from what i've heard especially is that it's really really sad and i don't know if i'm ready to face that but who knows guys and i need you guys with me because i don't think i could do this alone because this next episode i feel like it's going to be a lot more crazy but anyways guys Oh jeez, my mouth is a little dry. But hold on, before we go, I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have one last sip. Uh, I drank on my root beer, but I got some um, Coca Cola Zero Sugar. Don't make fun of me. Zero Sugar, and got, look at this. It has like a little, like it has like a little um, Black Panther symbol on it, which is kind of cool. So before I go, guys, I'm gonna take a little bit of a sip. Of, I'm gonna take a sip of this and. Yeah, but like I said, thank you guys so much for joining this stream. And if you did, um, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, which this will go up, this will go up on YouTube pretty soon. So stay tuned for that for people that don't use Switch. Keep that in mind. But for the YouTube viewers, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. And if you did, then please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe today, to see more on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. Ah. Peace.